Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Tuesday, the last day of July, the 31st, and you can see a nice looking uh, sunrise out there this morning. We're in kind of a stagnant pattern that's really going to feature uh, low chances for showers and thunderstorms uh, from today right into Thursday. Again, most of the time, most places it'll be dry, but uh, do be aware there could be some uh, thunderstorms out there. Some of those could produce some uh, pretty uh, torrential downpours and maybe some gusty winds. But overall, again, the pattern will be quite scattered. And this week will be continued to see a little bit warmer in the way of temperatures along with some uh, higher dew points. That'll give us some pretty humid conditions and that'll last right on through the rest of the work week with plenty of 80 degree days and uh, dew points again climbing well into the 60s. So it'll feel quite humid out there the rest of this week. Yesterday we had a high of 83 and a low of 56. And again, the state high was 85 degrees at Iron Mountain, the state low. 47 at Ironwood, so both the highs and lows uh, quite a bit here over the last week have been in the UP of all places, and we're stuck kind of between a couple of systems to our north and our south with a wedge of high pressure that's uh, in between, giving us uh, overall a pretty dry pattern, but yet still some showers around. And if we look at temperatures out there this morning, uh, temperatures mainly in the uh, 50s to around 60 degrees, the warm spot at uh, Jasper at 63 Nuevo, the cool spot at 57, you can see a couple of our stations are down. Uh, hopefully we can get uh, some of these resolved, especially on Marlette. We've been down for about 10 days there. If we look at the uh, rainfall here over the last uh, 24 hours, first of all, in black since midnight, no precipitation at any of our uh, locations. You can see, though, uh, yesterday, 3,700s at uh, Tupperville and uh, 5,400s at Marlette, so a nice rain there. Just some trace amounts over here at Nuevo at 300s of an inch. If we look at the satellite view, you can see uh, a lot of this moisture coming up from the south. The greatest concentration is going to be well off to our southeast. And then we also have some uh, high pressure trying to push the system down through the uh, upper Midwest. But it won't be very successful here over the next several days as we continue to see us right in between uh, both, I think, the main moisture sources. And you can see on uh, radar this morning the bulk of the activity well off to our south in the Ohio Valley. And again, we'll just see some uh, renegade uh, showers and maybe a thunder shower across lower Michigan. Again, not very great chances, but I think over the next uh, three days, today, Wednesday, and Thursday, most areas uh, have at least a chance of picking up a shower or a thunder shower. On the uh, national weather map, you can see, again, this is where the bulk of the precipitation is going to be from around the southern Ohio Valley into the south southeast states where lots of uh, flash flood guidance uh, out for much of that area. And you can see as we... Put the map into motion, kind of the squeeze play across the Great Lakes. We're trying to have high pressure wedge in, but again, frontal boundaries are nearby, so that'll give us some of our uh, uh, focal point for maybe some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And again, see the heavy rains off to our southeast. And then finally, by Thursday, once again, very heaviest rains will be off to the southeast. Frontal boundary trying to sneak in, but again, this is going to be a pretty stagnant pattern as uh, most of these systems will not be very strong. So again, pretty much uh, what you see is what you get here over the next five days with uh, humidity and temperatures in the 80s. As far as precipitation over the next seven days, you can see the squeeze play we're in across much of the EMAC area. Looks like the best chances will be in our uh, southern locations, Tupperville, uh, over into St. Thomas, London, Jasper, and Blissfield have the best chance of picking up the most measurable precipitation here over the next uh, seven days. As far as weather watch, not much going on out there today. And then our forecast, temperatures pretty much in the low 80s, maybe a little warmer as we get to Saturday, maybe in the mid to upper 80s. And again, more humidity will be the story here. So it'll be a very summer-like uh, pattern with the best chances of rain here for today, tomorrow, into Thursday before we see plenty of sunshine on uh, the day on Saturday. So it looks like a pretty nice weekend coming up. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day and 73s to all.